Hi, and welcome to Everlaw. My name is Aubrey, and I'm on the user education team. Document review is an essential part of the discovery process. In the next few minutes, we'll tell you about the tools that make review possible. Let's begin. Here is a results table. It is the main way you will interact with documents on the platform. Each row is a document and each column describes some quality about the document. A single click on a row will open the document in the review window. This window is the heart and soul of document review on Everlaw. In the middle, you'll see the content of the document, which is fully scrollable. On the left side, you'll find the context panel, which puts the document you're looking at in context, showing all attachment families, email threads, and more. On the right side, you'll find the review panel. The toolbar and tabs offer a variety of tools for review. As you familiarize yourself with the document, you can use a toolbar to resize, rotate, download, and even share the document with your team. Now let's investigate the three most common tools to review document, applying code, leaving note, and redacting. If you're new to Everlaw, the term codes may be unfamiliar. We use this term to refer to a label attached to a document. As we see here, codes are organized into categories, previously set by an administrator. Applying a code is as simple as selecting the category name and choosing the appropriate code from the dropdown. This choice is saved at once. To leave a note, sign the annotations tab. Clicking add a note allows you to draft summaries, write notes for yourself, and more. Typing an existing dates or control number of a document will hyperlink it. Like codes, notes left on a document are reviewable to all users on the project. To redact, select the gray highlighter in the icon toolbar. Once toggled on, your cursor will become a crosshairs. Clicking and dragging over the image of your document will then apply a translucent redaction, which will become opaque should this document be produced. When redacting, you may choose to stamp the redaction or leave a note. Redaction capability is found in two additional features of the review window. The first is when using the text selection tool. And the second is when searching for terms in the hit highlights tab. Both options allow you to redact single or all instances of a word or phrase. To see all available features in the review panel, select the edit button. Once in edit mode, you can explore and add available tabs and tools and remove those that aren't useful for your workflows. Click Save to name and save your customized layout for future use. There may be times when you have multiple documents that should be reviewed the same way. On Everlaw, you can apply codes, redactions, notes, and more to multiple documents at once. From a results table, select the documents to which you'd like to apply review work. From the top toolbar, select Batch, and then Modify. In the panel, click on a code or binder once to apply that code to your documents or add your documents to that binder. Alternatively, double-click to remove that code from your document or remove your documents from that binder. Once you finalize your selection, choose Apply. Similarly, clicking Batch and then Redact will allow you to apply or remove redactions in bulk from your selected document. From this panel, you can redact and unredact both text and metadata, see examples of what will be redacted or unredacted, and you will be notified of any documents in your set that will not be impacted. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns along the way, your Everlaw contract includes access to our help resources, our support team, our training center, and our Everlaw community. Thank you and have a great day.